Hi, Vincent here. Today I'm going to talk about the NSX L2 VPN for layer 2 network extension across multiple sites. The typical use cases are where you want to connect your on-prem data center to public cloud, also known as the hybrid cloud, or you could be just using it for disaster recovery requirement in your enterprise. So what is NSX L2 VPN? So it's a feature in NSX H where you can use it to create a single logical layer 2 network across multiple sites. So you could have multiple data centers in your enterprise and you would like to connect them or, or create a layer 2 network across them. Or you could be using it to connect your on-prem data center to a public cloud offering over the internet or WAN connection. So what L2 VPN requires is a layer 3 connection. Right? It could be in the form of internet or WAN connections. So some of the WAN and internet consideration when you use them to connect multiple sites. So I will consider fiber, lease lines and NPRS as WAN. So these options allow you to run VXLAN across sites because they support Jumbo Frame. However, these connectivity options could be expensive and therefore, you know, you could have limited bandwidth from all these options. Whereas, for internet, you could have higher bandwidth because they are much cheaper. However, they do not support Jumbo Frame. So if you are thinking of using VXLAN over internet connection, basically you're out of luck. So you, what you can do, you can actually use a layer 2 VPN you still want to connect or extend the network across the sites. This is extremely sensible for hybrid cloud because um, the connections on the public cloud or the available connections at the public cloud end are usually internet. So let's take a look at from a diagram point of view how does it looks like. So what you usually have is the L2 VPN from the NSX H and you spin up them on the two sides and you connect them over a layer 3 network. After that, you can actually trunk the VLANs that you would like to extend across to the other sites. So the layer 2 VPN supports a few network types that you can use to extend. You can use it to extend VLAN to VLAN, VXLAN to VXLAN, or even VLAN to VXLAN as well. Before we begin to the demo, Let's now take a look at the network design that I will be using for the demo. So I have two sites over here. Basically, these sites are in Singapore. I have the Jurong site, which is site A, and Suntech, which is site B. These two sites are connected via the internet, and they have about two to 300 megabits of uh, internet connection over here and let's start off to look at the management components first so typically you will use a IPsec connection to connect uh, the two sites especially for the management component however I've been I'm using an NSX H L2 VPN in this case because the internet connection that I have at Suntech is behind it's behind a public IP address and all I have uh, it's a pet connection and that's the reason why I use a layer 2 VPN connection so with that I set up a transit VLAN across the two sites so with that transit VLAN I can actually route a couple of networks across these transit VLANs such as the management 
network as well as the VDI network. As for the compute, there's a couple of VLANs that I would like to extend across. In my case, I'm extending VLAN 99 across the two sides. So therefore, I have to spin up another H, NSXH, with L2 VPN to connect these two sites together. So these are some of the demonstrations that I will show you. So I will do a ping test to show you that two sites are connected via the internet. And I'm going to show some connectivity from the VMs to show that um, on, the, on, the, on the site A as well as site B. So now let's take a look at the demo. So what I have here is the vSphere web client and I'm connecting to the vCenter02. Okay. So this is the let me show you the the management L2 VPN first. So this is the L2 VPN. I have opened a console to it. Okay. So right now I'm going to show you that the L2 VPN service is running. Okay, and I will show you the configuration of the L2 VPN. Okay, so this is the server IP address. So now let me ping the server address, and you can see it has a roughly about four to five milliseconds of latency over here. So these two sites are actually in in Singapore itself, and this is the latency that I got it from the local internet. So I'm going to do a trace route. Okay, so these are the routes. You can show that it's going through a few hops before it gets to um, the site A. So now let's take a look at the VDI desktop that I'll be using to do this test. So this VDI desktop is actually inside A, right, which is at the, the Jurong site. So if I will take a look at the IP address for this VDI instance, okay, it's 10 to 1 to 1 12. Let me ping the gateway to show you that you know this is local at the site. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is to ping the vCenter the first vcenter01 is actually in site A. So you can see that it's less than one millisecond. So basically lens speed. Next I'm going to do a ping test to vcenter02. So this is in site B and this is over the layer 2 VPN connection that I set up for the management components. You can see that it's uh, roughly four to five milliseconds which is consistent to what we show you from the layer 2 VPN uh, appliance. Okay. So now let's proceed to the second demo, which is take a look at the, the VMs that we'll be using for this test. So if we, I go to the virtual machines in inside A, there's a couple of virtual machines here that I'll be using. So, Web35 is being shut down. It's because previously I have used SRM to fail over. So what I'm going to do now is to take a look at uh, probably Web34 over here. Right, so you can see that it's 10, 10, 
99.26 okay okay what I'm gonna do now is to go to this page then 10.99.26 10 okay it's loaded over here and next thing I would like to take a look at it's the the network interface okay so if I go to or rather if I click over here you can actually see what's the network oh here the network so it's VLAN 99 web 90 okay so on the other side itself we have which this VRA 7 web 035 virtual machine I have previously used SRM to fail over this virtual machine and you can see that this is on the network which is on VLAN 99 which is on web 90 so let's now take a look at what's the IP address which is 10.10.99.27 so if I will go to the VDI desktop again and try to access right, I'll try to ping it so you see now I'm not able to access this web server but it's actually on the same subnet and I don't want to change the IP address so now let's proceed to the step 4 of the demo which is to take a look at creation of a layer 2 VPN connection. So if it goes to the network and security option and you click on net NSX ages. So I've already created uh, the server over here, the VPN server for the compute. So what I'm going to do now is to create the client which is on the site B. So I'll add the H, let's call it layer 2 VPN client 0 to compute. in this cluster using this data store okay I will configure the uplink interface which I'm actually leveraging the management network for this so I'm going to select the management network so as I mentioned, if you have a, a public native public IP address, you can actually use that to set up the connection for this compute. In my case, I'm leveraging uh, the layer 2 VPN connection that I have set up for my management. And you will not like to do it in your environment because it's actually a dependency on the management L2 VPN connection. <clears throat> so this is the gateway of my management network inside B. So it's now spinning up the NSX H layer 2 VPN which is I'm going to use it for the layer 2 VPN so if you go into the vCenter 02 the client which you can see the progress you can see that it's actually spinning up and powering up okay over here so let's see that is it done and the next thing we're going to do is to configure the, the interface or the VLAN that we would like to extend across So now let's add in a trunk interface over here.
Okay, I would like to extend the VLAN network. And the tunnel ID I has configured is 99. So I'm going to use it over here. Okay. So you can configure IP address uh, for ping test. So what I'm going to do here is put 99.2. 99.1 is actually the gateway, which is on site 8. Right. So this is, this is done. So I've set up the sub interface. You can configure more VLANs over here or VNIC over here if you would like to extend the networks. So next is to configure the layer to VPN. So this is the server IP address of the L2 VPN server over at site A. So IP address is 1.2.10.2.61.254. This is the sub interface that I just created. Okay. You need to put in the credentials. So these are the credentials that I have previously configured in the server. Okay, I need to choose the um, should be okay. okay, enable publish the change and let's take a look at the status. Right, great, it's up. So now let's take a look at the VM itself. Okay, if we go to VM. Okay. okay, this is the this is the VM. So let me read it. Okay. I can ping the address that are assigned to the sub interface okay it has response i can also ping back the gateway over at site a you can see that the latency is around five to six milliseconds which is over the when okay so now let's go back to the vdi connection and do the same ping test which is the vm itself you have connection over to that vm and if I were to browse to the web server, you can see that it has the page loads up. And this shows that my layer 2 VPN connection is working. So this concludes the five demos that I would like to do. So I hope you enjoy the demos that I, I did. So Thanks for watching. See you next time.